Hey CrossFit families, welcome to episode number 6 of our Big Ten Challenge. This next story was written mostly by Mrs. Jen actually, and that's pretty exciting. We call this one, The Treasure Hunt. So can I tell you a Junior Bear story? One morning Junior Bear woke up and he was eager to go find his dad, so he jumped out of bed and ran around the house, but he couldn't find his dad anywhere. So he went outside because he heard some noises and he found his dad gardening. And he went over to his dad and he said, Morning, Dad, what are you up to? And Mr. Bear turned and he said, Good morning, Junior Bear. Well, I'm, I'm gardening. And Junior, he wondered, well, why are you gardening? And, and Mr. Bear said, well, I'd love to make sure that the animals have good food and, and plenty of it. So I'd like to provide for them that way. And, and, and would you like to help me? And Junior Bear said, sure. And so Mr. Bear started to show him what to do. And they, they started to do this together. And then... And as they were working, Junior noticed that nearby there was a, a little wooden box there. And, and Junior looked over and he said, Dad, what's this? And, and Mr. Bear looked at it and he said, oh, that's a little feed box right there for the animals to eat out of. And Junior thought, well, that's pretty cool. Well, they kept gardening and soon they heard a noise. And, and they looked up and they saw coming down the trail some animals that Junior had never seen before. These strangers from another place and... And, and Junior and Mr. Bear watched as they came up to them. And, and these strangers, they said, hello there. And, and Junior and Mr. Bear, they said, well, hello. And these new, new strangers, they said, well, we're here on a treasure hunt. And Junior Bear, he, he kind of wondered. And he said, what do you mean a treasure hunt? And they said, well, a long time ago, we got this treasure map. And there was directions on it. The directions said, you will know when to use this. Follow the clue with the star. And, and we looked at this again and we realized now's the time to use it. And, and we followed the star, the clue with the star. And it led us to this forest. And, and Junior, he wondered. And we said, well, well, what was the clue? What was the clue? And, and it said this. Back in the garden, the bear you ate created a need for the promise I make. And they, they looked at Junior and they said, well, do you know what that means? And Junior, he, he thought for a moment and he... He wondered it back in the garden, the berry I ate created the promise. Oh, I, I think I know what that what, what that means. Dad, it, it's like when I ate the berry in the garden you brought me to, right? And Mr. Berry didn't say anything, but he liked Junior's excitement in this. And, and Junior looked at the new friends and he said, well, I, I think I know where that is. And 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 these, these new friends, they said, well, you want to come with us? And Junior, he said, Dad, can I go? Can I? And Mr. Berry just nodded and he, he said, well, let's go. And they said, okay, Junior, you lead the way. And, and Junior started leading them and they followed him. And, and Junior led them to this little little garden area. You see, he couldn't go back to the garden where he was with his dad, but he could go to this garden. He said, this is, this is a garden where I know my dad's been working on. And I wonder if it's in here. And so they all spread out and they started to look behind every bush and every tree and every rock. And, and all of a sudden, one of them says, hey, I, I, I see a star. I see a star. And, and they all came over and, and they pulled out the star and behind the star was the next clue. And so they opened it up and they read clue number two. Out of the stump will come the shoot, out of the heavens will come the root. And they all wondered, like, what does that mean? Out of the stump will come the shoot, out of the heavens will come the root. And all of a sudden, the junior brothers, I wonder if we're looking for a tree stump. A tree stump. And they're like, oh yeah, that makes sense. And and so they said, well, let's go find a tree stump. And they went walking around the trails and trying to find something that looked like a tree stump. And, and also they found their way, and it was near Mr. Jesse's yard. And, and they went and, and they, they found a tree stump. And they said, hey, there's the star. There's a tree stump and a star. And they went running over. And sure enough, there was another, another clue. And they, they pulled it out and they read clue number three. And it said this. It's the fact that it seems a bit stranger you will find this gift lying in a manger. Oh, they wondered what that one meant. Despite the fact this seems a bit stranger, you will find this gift lying in a manger. And they, manger, manger, man. And all of a sudden, one of them said, mate, isn't a manger a feed box for animals? And that's where Junior's eyes got really big. And he said, I, I know where there's one of those. I know where there's a feed box. Let's go. And so they followed Junior Bear and guess where he led them? That's right, right back to where Mr. Bear was gardening in the, the little feed box that they had there, right? And when Junior went to find it, he went right up to it and guess what he found? He found a treasure box. 
and he picked it up and everybody was happy and they they were they found the treasure but they didn't know what was in it and they were expecting to find something really big and really amazing and and they opened it up and and they found a seed they found a seed and that was that was a bit of a surprise to them because to them that didn't seem really big and it sure didn't seem really amazing and and they began to wonder what this was all about and that's when they heard mr bear's voice what did you find there he asked well dad junior said it, it looks like we found a seed but we, we're not sure what to do with it or what it means and mr berry said well that is interesting but i think i have an idea with what to do with it and junior said well what's that and mr bear said why don't we take it down to the water down by the river we can plant it in the ground right there and junior said okay let's do that and so they all followed mr bear and he, he took them down to the river and and he dug a hole and he he put the seed in there and he planted it and, and then they well, now what's going to happen dad junior asked and mr bear said well now we wait and junior didn't understand and he said dad i thought we were on a treasure hunt to find a treasure and mr bear said yeah we you were on a treasure hunt but just because what you found was small doesn't mean it isn't a treasure and just because what you found doesn't seem like anything doesn't mean it's gonna not be something amazing you see junior one day that seed's gonna grow into a tree and then one day that tree's gonna save you and that tree is gonna lead to the greatest treasure of all but that's a story for another day he said right now it's getting late i think it's time to go home well and since it was getting late they looked at their new friends and said why don't you come home with us and so they all went to to junior bear's house and as junior bear was getting tucked into bed that night he looked up at his dad he said dad i'm confused about something and mr bear said what's that and junior said well you said that this treasure would grow you said that that, that something amazing would happen and but I, I just don't understand yet and mr bear said it's okay that you have questions right now but it's also okay that you trust me and that you know that the treasure is yet to come and junior thought about that for a moment and, and he said okay i can i can do that and after good night hugs and saying good night junior went to bed knowing that even though he didn't understand how big and how amazing the treasure really was he knew his dad understood and he knew he could trust his dad and that was a good thing you guys remember why we tell you junior bear stories it's because they tell us bible stories right and so I want you to go into the description below and find the link to the Bible study for this story and, and open up your Bibles and find the treasure hunt that God wants to take you on. Like and subscribe on this video. And don't forget to send pictures of you and your family doing the Bible study to Pastor Caleb so you can keep up with us with the Crossview Big Ten Challenge. With that, I'm going to say goodbye and we'll see you next time. Bye.